David Zimmerman, our casting director. And uh, Marlene. <laughs> uh, Marlene was the bossy one in the art department. Come on in. Okay. And, uh, okay. And Cassandra Toby from Goodwill. Come on up. Who am I forgetting? Oh, sorry. And now the director, air director, come on up, Tyler Norman. Okay, uh, now we have microphones. We're going to do a short, uh, where are the microphones in the audience? Do we have them somewhere? Yeah, they're out here, JP. Uh, what are they? Denied. Denied. I can't see. Oh, I should put my distance glasses on. Okay, so uh, any questions from the audience about the production, about what we do at Inclusion Films? Uh, everyone, you know, uh, you know what Ann does. So, uh, Tyler, why don't you introduce yourself, say a few words. Is this, the mic's not on. Is this, oh, now it's on. Okay. Um, hi, I'm <laughs> a little nervous here. Uh, I'm, Obviously, as you heard, I'm Tyler Norman. I wrote and directed this movie, and um, well, it's been a very long journey coming here. We shot this movie almost exactly a year ago, but I have to say, um, now I know why we did this at the TV Academy. This is amazing. Um, uh, just and what I got to also say, what a great thing it is to actually see a curtain open. They they don't do that anymore. I remember seeing that when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't have to watch 20 minutes of commercials before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cassandra, please introduce yourself and tell everybody what you did. Sure. Thanks, Joy. I'm Cassandra Toby. I am with Goodwill of Orange County, and we run a program through our Goodwill to work with people with disabilities and teach them how to start their own businesses. The focus is on micro enterprise, which is a business that includes five or fewer employees and costs less than $35,000 to start. And I worked with Tyler to introduce him to Joey to get this wonderful film made and to start his film company, the Cerulean Film Company. Hi, my name is Marlene Guerrero, and I'm a student of Inclusion Films, and I'm, I'm here for any questions you want to know about Inclusion Films of all the students that worked on the film. Okay, okay. I'm David Zimmerman, and I did the casting. Maria, I celebrate what you do. Hi, good evening. Yes, yes. Good evening. Um, I'm Gloria Castaneda. I'm the program director of the Media Access Office, which is a program uh, free of charge uh, by the Employment Development Department. And basically, I'm like a talent agent. I get calls from uh, casting directors looking for performers with disabilities. We have around 900 uh, actors with disabilities on file, and it's a wonderful program that I've been a part of for 12 years now. Wow, that's what I do. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm the director of Kid Diversity. I'm a former student at Inclusion Films, and um, this is a very, I'm a very proud, because uh, especially the people like Marlene, because Marlene was a student with me at one point, and is now part of Kid Diversity, and she, I just want to single her out, and uh, and also the other people who have worked with, with me, James, uh, James and Brian, uh, because they're, they're, we've done a few jobs now, and they've been incredible with um, being being on on a, on a on a job. You know, we've we've shot commercials, we've shot uh, live performances, and they and they will do 
anything it takes to get the job done. And I'm very proud of Bonnie, and I'm very proud of my guys. So thank you so much. Yes. Uh, yeah, I want to hear about some of the jobs you guys have been booking with uh, Team Diversity. Uh, Michael, you want to take that? Yes, we, uh, we've done a couple commercials now, and uh, uh, and we've done a live uh, folk performance. Uh, and those jobs, have, I'm very proud to say that we haven't had for any to ask for any kind of financial assistance. Those jobs have have. Um, gone towards us being incorporated. We are now an incorporated business, and we're up and running. We have a website. We have marketing. We, it's a, so those those three jobs that we've done have paid for, for us to be up and running now. So we're, we're ready to work. And, then, and as you've seen, you know, the, everybody here really, really wants to work and is extremely talented, and all that they need is a chance. So please give us the chance. Well, um, the, the, the feature film I'm trying to make, which is a science fiction movie called Vermillion, I actually wrote that script, believe it or not, before I wrote this. Now, I've been rewriting it constantly, but uh, yeah, I have the next. In fact, I, and then I have the one I want to do after that that I'm working on right now, so I, I'm working on scripts all the time. That answers your question. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. I have a question. If someone has a question, could they come to the microphone? That's a good question. That's so a good that, answer, too. So that everybody can hear, please. I feel weird because I'm mic here and I have a mic here. Actually, I should give this mic to you because I'm double mic. I'm mic mic. I'm mic in my <laughs> <laughs> furious form. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, any other questions? I know everybody's hungry. We have food out there. We're going to have something to eat right after. I see someone coming up there. Can I sell you a dress or some shoes? Would you rather be in inclusion? My brother grew up with Asperger's and he got picked on a fair amount and he just sort of out. I think an urge to try to sort of get his power back and he watched The Crow a lot, which I think is maybe a less um, gentle film than this is. So do you have plans to kind of distribute this to the schools or get it out to kids? Well, actually, yeah. uh, next week, um, no, two weeks, it's opening up the Garden State Film Festival, and it's going to open up to uh, 450 uh, uh, students in the school district. So it's been accepted into several uh, uh, film festivals, and we're real proud of that, and we're submitting now like crazy. Yeah. to do a, a, a career, a, a good career to have um, learning about everything, about filmmaking, because I love movies and I always wanted to be in a, in a film industry. So it's, it's been, been quite, quite an experience with, with Joey and with all the, the other teachers in the films and they have taught us so much. So much, and we we gotta thank them so much because we're we're here because of them, and I wanna thank them. I just wanted to say I come from a background where my mother spends years of her life setting up a special.
special education program at our elementary school back in the 80s, well before a lot of these programs existed. So it's been an amazing blessing to experience this and see that these programs are really taking off and, and everything. And I just, I know very little about the organization and I'm just so excited that it, it even exists to find it out here. Um, so I was wondering if I could get a little background on when it began, how it started, and what other programs are spawning from it. Uh, well, I'll feel that. Uh, uh, about two and a half years ago, uh, I always wanted to do a practical film, uh, film workshop. Uh, I'm primarily a film director, and when I would do uh, these movies, I would get kids out of uh, USC, UCLA, that didn't have practical experience. So I had this idea, well, wouldn't it be great when I do a movie to train a, a group of 10 to 15 typical uh, kids that maybe didn't want to go to college, but they knew they wanted to be in the film business. And uh, when Diane Anand and Karen Ingram had heard about it, they, they approached me and said, do you think we could do something like that for, for our clients? And being a former special ed teacher, I said, you know, let's give it a try. And uh, here we are now. And uh, I'm happy we're doing it. Does that answer the question? Okay. You're welcome. Stand up, Scott. Scott is our artist. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Danny did the animation. And just to let you know, uh, Danny, I don't know if your uncle told you, but uh, you're getting booked on a job to illustrate uh, the uh, Dave and Goliath. So, congratulations. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. Adam, go ahead. I'm going to do the best I can for right here. Okay, nice and loud. I have always been interested in motion photography, and I was wondering how you came up with the concept to do the, the motions with the bike and the street. Um, well, we filmed that out the, out the window of a car that was driving alongside um, Dalton when he was on that uh, bike. Can I on the uh, drive night, please? Can I show it today? Monza word. Yeah, it was a miracle. It was a miracle. <laughs> Go ahead, Tommy. We filmed it with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nick, go ahead. Uh, you know, I came from San Diego. You know, I'm here. I've been in this program since four years. And then I want to thank anybody, you know, being here for me. You got a time here. You got to be anybody, you know. I came from San Diego. I'm from Winterburn Special Ed Center. I was, you know, team captain all these years. And uh, I have finally got, you know, so much trophies, you know, all the players. In my life, in my, my time, I was a coach. And then I was, you know, coach coach. I was working at Winterburn High School, you know. I was working. I was caring, I was 
bring all the people to have the work because I know how to be working all the time. When I first started working, I started from from Stella and from the library, from all the way to you know from Harper Rock College. I've been doing that since then because I'm here to tell you guys, you know, I want to say to everybody, you know, this is from part of my heart because I have to do what I have to do. I'm not giving up, not forever. My team, my Winterberg team, I had something. Because since then, from 2006, we got the first place trophy. <laughs> You look good, buddy. Thank you. Okay. All right, this is getting really late. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll, we'll take two more questions. Hi. I have a question for Tyler. Uh, what kind of problems did you have uh, making a film? The main difficulties of the film. Uh, what was that last part? What, what, what were the difficulties you had with film? The, what was the main the, difficulty? The biggest thing? principle. Uh, mainly just having such a short schedule. Um, we had to... There are some, some parts of the movie, like the opening scene with the Barbie in the pool. We actually ended up shooting that um, on, you know, the, on another day, on the fifth day. And the thing with him going around doing all the, the heroic stuff, that was also shot later. Um, so we had to basically group all the scenes together and have multiple actors into those four days. And it was pretty tough, but we, um, we came through it Also, I should add. Um, what, what he said in that opening scene about how I, I had two lights in my hand, that's because I thought we were on that day going to be shooting the Barbie scene in his pool. So it's not like I was concerned about seeing him. <laughs> okay, yes, go ahead. Uh, really quickly, um, you said uh, something before the film as well. You said that some of the people that go through the school um, will go on and do other things and so on and so forth, and some will become successful doing that. Um, the others won't. Now, uh, um, is, it, is it everybody that goes through that school, um, of course they have the learning disability, um, but everybody going through the inclusion films, um, uh, on top of having a, a, a disability, what happens to the people that don't go on to do the other films? Do they? want to act as well or just well i think some of them want to act and some of them want to I, you know again like i said it's uh, the one thing great about filmmaking is that it encompasses all everything to do with life you know whether it's math uh, it's not just directors and actors there's writing there's accounting there's 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 so many there's so many jobs involved with it everything that, that goes on in life so it's a matter of finding that and and attaching to that and, and uh, finding what your gift is. And that's what we try to do is find out what, what the gift is. Uh, I mean, it, it's hard, it's a tough business. You know, there's no doubt about it. All we're asking for is to give us a shot, you know, with internships. And that's one of the things that we're gonna- It's uh, the support services. And catering. the support service and um, catering and everything. and everything and location scouting, accounting. And editing, accounting. <laughs> there's just so many jobs involved. So it's not just, the art of filmmaking, it's the art of everyday life. And it's it integrated. Can I say something about that, John? What's up? About inclusion films, because it, the greatest thing to me about inclusion films is not about filmmaking. It's about that people with disabilities have a place to go where they're not going to be judged for, for their limitations. We don't talk about limitations there. We talk about what is possible, what their gifts are, and 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 everything that's possible for their future. And, and it's, it's very, very important. Because you, you can do a family. We are a family and we behave like a family and we love each other. And, and I just want to say about Joey that that comes from Joey Travolta. And we love you, Joey, and I love you very much. You have a dad to me and I love you for a while. Well, um, 
Um, how can someone uh, come alongside of all of the different programs that you have for the people with uh, disability and learning disabilities as well as far as funding and come alongside with helping them develop uh, uh, different different skills and different businesses as well. Because one of the things I do as a business consultant to celebrities and athletes is show them how to develop funding for their nonprofit organizations and their and their and different things like that. How can we bring more, basically bring more exposure to what you guys are doing? Because we really, really, really believe what you guys are doing is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing, and we just want to bring that that awareness. Not just to you know the, the world of filmmaking, but to everywhere. You know what I mean? How can we be a part of that and bringing that awareness to them? For starters, uh, give me a card before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a table to sign up for anybody that's interested in internships and paid uh, entry level jobs. Uh, so you can sign up, and we'll set up a meeting uh, uh, and talk with your organization. Okay. Yeah, and we're yeah. also um, with our microenterprise program. A couple of the side programs that we're developing spawning off of that for our micro entrepreneurs is a mentorship program. So exactly what you were talking about, we're looking for people that may have experience in general business or the business field the person's interested in going into, who would be interested in mentoring one-on-one -on -one with some of our business owners. We're also putting a business advisory council together to kind of help guide us as we develop the program and the program grows to help us look at other components that might be able to be added to the program and also maybe to help review business plans to see if there's anything we've missed in the guidance that we're providing. So those will be other opportunities that we have within our program at Goodwill as well. Let's see. No, I'm just <laughs> One last question. My question is for Michael. I'm just curious as to whether or not with team diversity, other than commercials and fashion shows and things like that, you guys do weddings, bar mitzvahs, and birthday parties? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we, we do it all. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're also developing senior memories uh, where we do, we want to do a documentary of a senior uh, cut in with pictures. Uh, it's the things that we teach them how to shoot and how to edit, and it's a business. We uh, just made a presentation uh, last week, and we hope to be in production within about three weeks on that. And it's a business, and it's a business that can work here or in any city, any city that our program is in. Yes?
shaped item. Maybe it does have this if you want. And uh, also Maureen Wilson for helping us put this whole thing together. Did I miss any of my crew? I mentioned everybody, right? Uh, Maureen Wilson. Maureen, thank you. And I wouldn't name all the students, but we don't have enough time. It's time to eat. So please thank you for the, uh, the uh, crew up here. The cast, please stand up. Sorry, the cast.